We need to pull you off your tail for now. Are you ready to fight? Always. It was a rhetorical question. I'm with DedSec. What is it you need help with? God, really? I thought you might be interested in my date last night. Ooh, this could be fun. Not like that. He was just this normal man, very arrogant, spoke about how he can expense whatever he wants because he has dirt on his boss. Why do I care? Because he works for Jack Heath, CEO of Evangeline's Auction House. Heath could interest you. Many of his clients are literal criminals. I expect him to be one too. So this dirt my date's got, it's likely something serious. Worth another date, don't you think? Can't. I met him on Puller, and he has already changed his preferences. I'm not his type anymore. He's all yours. Suppose I can look into it? It seems our man Gareth Hendricks updates his preferences nearly every day. Right now, he's looking for a professional getaway driver. Say again? He must want a thrilling criminal romance. I mean, I get it. I once had a fling with a North Macedonian botnet. Fortunately, we've got a getaway driver in stock. In a startling update to the Vanessa Ahmed sex tape story, we've just received information from a credible source within the DedSec network that the sex tape was in fact perpetrated by proxies of billionaire tabloid magnate Rudolf Peck. Evidence received by this network only moments ago outlines the broad conspiracy of extortion intended to smear the hacker collective. More alarmingly, Authorities are currently investigating a narrowly averted train derailment. Details to come as they become available. Hello, I'm sorry to tell you, but your dating preferences have been hacked by me. Excuse me? Oh, calm down. I did it for a mission, mostly. Seems you're a match with our friend Gareth Hendricks, and I had to get his attention. Go and meet him over at Seven Dials Pub. The Resistance needs your charms. All right. Remember, we need his intel on his boss, so be up for anything. Copy. Yo. Well, this is always an expectation versus reality moment, isn't it? I prefer the real thing. It's a lot safer that way, you know what I mean? Agreed. Can I shout you a lager? Damn, the premium stuff? Are you all money or no? Hardly, but yeah, I'm charging it to my boss, so don't be shy.
<laughs> oh, God. Now that's a story. That's right. If it's rare, Jack Heath is there, converting it into yachts and cars. He doesn't care that it's stolen or part of some culture's heritage. And yours truly has got his number. What about all the things he's stolen? They're all just collecting dust somewhere? Fuck no. He's all about the money. He just facilitates the sales for the ones with the layers for a substantial fee. I don't know why, but it really gets me going. Another. All right. Oh, God, turn everything off. We appreciate it, Ilna. Once in a while is fine. All right, fill us in and don't skip the details. Oh, you're not going to believe this. Jack Heath is smuggling Egyptian artifacts for real. Sounds like we need to call up someone a bit closer to the action. Set Cairo's intel expert. She's like their more fallible version of me. Sabra, this is DedSec London. London, Sabra. Hey, what's up? We stumble on what looks like a smuggling operation. Egyptian artifacts to be exact. Does that say anything to you? Sure does. We've long suspected Egypt's Minister for Antiquities of robbing government archives and funneling the proceeds to an extremist insurgent group. If your contact is part of the operation, it could be the brick we need. Interesting. What else you have? Yeah, he is a scumbag. Thank you, Sabra. We're gonna need more than just Hendrix bragging. We need his files. So who's going this time? He certainly does mix it up. Now he's looking for a DJ. Maybe he wants to cut a single with his todger. Wonderful. I found someone who matches Hendrix's preferences, pushing you their location now. Jesus Christ, are you fucking serious? Again? What the hell did I do this time? It's all good. Take it easy. Oh, shit. You're not Albion. They've been hassling me all day, so yeah. I'm on edge right now. Easy enough. We're here to help. I'm going mental, I swear. Albion fucking pats me down every time I pass a bloody checkpoint. I think someone's using that fucking CTOS to make false reports against me. That's certainly possible. Can you think of anyone that is out to get you? Let's just say I don't have the easiest time making friends. Can you hack into the system for me? See what's going on? I'll owe you whatever the fuck you want if you help me out with this. All right. Leave it with us. Any ideas? We have a CTOS backdoor already, but all the reports are anonymized. If you want to know who's targeting our friend, get me a hard line into a government server. Right, I'll get the data. Give me those coordinates. Well, go on, Bagley. Dead set calling. Are you up for some freedom fighting? My pleasure, Bagley. Glad to be of assistance. 
I'm here. The server is there somewhere. Once you're hooked up, we can see exactly where the false reports are coming from. I'm onto it. I'm in. The anonymous reports on our friend read like a terrorist's shopping list. Van rental, bulk fertilizer purchase, bulk petrol purchase. That sounds like someone is trying to build a car bomb. Yes, only it can't have been her. The timestamps on these reports don't match our GPS tracking. Someone out there must be about to launch an attack, and they want her to take the fall. We can worry about the blame later. Right now, we need to stop that attack. I traced the IP back to a known Clan Kelly hideout. That's where we'll find our culprits.
I'm ready to go when you are. All right. Got a vehicle with a Wi-Fi bomb detonator somewhere on the premises. Get me a link up and I can disable it. Got it. There's the bomb. Okay. You're up, Bagley. Disarming it now. Time to pick up where your teammate left off. I'm sure they'll thank you once they stop eating through a tube. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they're okay. Oh, 
Challenge next time. Go for it, Bagley. Disarming it now. Sec do it. Now get out of there so we can contact our friend. Well, you were right. McKellys were setting you up on CTOS to take the fall for a car bombing. You're lucky we found you when we did. Seriously? Oh, I owe you big time. Why don't you join us? The resistance is more fun than you'd think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to make a difference.
Hey, welcome to the team. Fuck yeah. Ready to help make a dip. You're up. And with any luck, Hendrix will be too. He'll be waiting for you in a gazebo near the duck cottage. Hendrix might be the roundiest man on the planet, but he's not stupid. It'll take more than you batting your eyelashes to get those incriminating files on Heath out of him. Let's do it. Hiya. Hey, sorry about the surroundings. I thought it might make a nice break from the pub, but now I feel like feeding the ducks and complaining about my back. Oh, don't get me started on my back. Hopefully, that's where this ends. Hold up. How about we sit a second and talk first? Sorry, couldn't resist. Come on, let's have a seat. That job seems stressful. Used to be. Since I've got that file, I take everything in stride, you know? Nothing worries me anymore. Isn't that a bit worrying? If his friends are bad guys, couldn't he just... Well, aren't you afraid he'll ask his buddies to do something nasty to you? I have to admit... I'm getting off on the danger. Speaking of getting off... Right. Well, was it a good night? Not bad. We've got to get to his office. That's where he's keeping an encrypted file with a record of Heath's illicit transactions. Sending the location, not the nicest area. And here, Hendrix seemed like such an innocent and clean living fella. Are you ready for a new operation? Yeah, winner. This one's not going well. Do you require support? No, they're gone. Let's go.
thing you're after is around here.
spotted in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Control, we are pursuing the suspect.
Ouch. I'm in. Leave it to me. I cloned the drive, but I can't seem to read it. He's probably using a hardware security module for encryption. Without it, this will take a very, very long time. We can discuss it later. Get out of here. Could you give me a hand here, Bagby? I can decrypt it without Hendrix's master key, if you don't mind putting this project on the back burner for the next 26 years. Guess that means DedSec is back on the pool. Quite. Hendrix has, of course, updated his dating preferences again. Eclect Here, isn't he? Who's he looking for now? A Spanish moim? Elvis? Perhaps a folk in Aardvark? This time he's looking for a spy, although I don't know what kind of spy would give away their secret identity on an unsecured anonymous dating site. Grand! The demands of being a DedSec operative are all some extra quid that works around your new schedule. Lots of people will pay well to have their sensitive packages handled with care. And some will even pay you for deliveries. Ha ha! Are you ready for a new operation? Sure. My towel's cleared out. Do you require support? No point now. Let's go. Hey, heads up. You've got a date tonight. I hope you didn't throw away all those handcuffs and waterboarding tables from your old work. Remember, we need that security key to bring Jack Heath and his co-conspirators to justice. You're right. Huh? Oh, yeah. I just lost something important. Yeah, I'm listening. 
Sure, shall we? I've arranged something special. It was so fucking unnecessary what your sir's friends did to me at that checkpoint. I've never been manhandled like that in all my life. It happens all the time. We confiscate items, they don't always make it back to their owners. That can't happen with this. My life depends on it, literally. I want to help. I would be so grateful. How grateful would that be? How unexpected. Well, that explains why he wanted to date a spy. He needs someone to sneak into that facility and get his security key back. Think you're up to it? Yes. Needed. Can you... It left me hanging too long. A police constable. I don't suppose they'll be too happy with Albion making them redundant, do you? Hendrix's decryption key will be on a USB drive somewhere on site. Remember, it's the only way we'll be able to decrypt the proof of Heath's misdeeds.
There's the decryption key there. I got it. Good work. I'll decrypt and upload the files to Cairo while you get out of there. Incoming call from DeadSec Cairo. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm looking through Hendrix's file now. It's amazing. Wire transfers, secret bank accounts, client lists. Everything we need to nail them. Who said online dating doesn't work? I must say, it was a good little operation they had. Our corrupt little minister had the merch, and Heath had the contacts. That bastard may have friends in high places, but no one looks kindly on traitors. He is going down. The people of Egypt owe you guys a great debt of historic dimensions. I agree. We did good. Thanks, Sabra. I'm not bragging, but I think I'm doing pretty damn good fighting with DeadSec. You wouldn't have been recruited if DeadSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Thank you, sir. I think. You'll need to get used to Bugs' drivel, but it's proper fun. Fantastic job. An international conspiracy to fund Egyptian terrorists by selling treasured antiquities has been uncovered by the resistance group known as DeadSec. The plot implicates one of London's richest men, Jack Heath, the CEO of Evangeline's Auction House, and the Egyptian cultural minister. Both men are currently in custody, awaiting trial in their respective countries. Ah, Heath, help! 